And I, and I was thinking about it. I thought, maybe I was wrong. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have made that joke. And I thought, well, it'd be ridiculous. It gets to the point where you couldn't make a joke about anything because you're frightened of offending someone. So you've got to draw like a line in the sand of some kind of moral guideline you're comfortable with. So what I've decided is I won't make any jokes about anybody's problem or situation if they've got their own categories at the Paralympics, yeah? <laughs> so if you've got races designed for your problem, I'll leave you alone, you know? So if I switch on the Paralympics and there's something like the wheat intolerance high jump. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got to get their moany asses <laughs> over a loaf. <laughs> Use a baguette as a pole vault. <laughs> I'll keep stum. Or they have dyslexic categories, but they all turn up in Beirut instead of Beijing. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> the OCD hurdles. <laughs> Takes about four days. <laughs> Every time they jump over a hurdle, they have to pick it up and put it back on the rack. <laughs> <sighs> no, I'm not happy with that. That's not right. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh. I've never done any jokes about agoraphobia. Never done any jokes about that. But if I did, you know, and I saw something like the agoraphobic javelin, <laughs> I'd stop, you know, the agoraphobic. You know, it'd be quite hard for an agoraphobic to walk out into an athletic stadium, wouldn't it? It'd be quite intimidating. They'd probably have to come out in a caravan. <laughs> and a little caravan pulls up onto the track. And they wouldn't even come out of the caravan, no. <laughs> they just open the curtains, chuck the javelin out. <laughs> Close the curtains, drive off. <laughs> Have a special little javelin so I didn't bash the back of the caravan. <laughs> the irritable bowel syndrome weightlifting. <laughs> they don't lift anything, that's too risky. <laughs> they just do the faces. <laughs> 160 kilos. But it's, it's interesting how, how easily offended people are these days. People get very, very readily offended, particularly by what's on television. That's, that's, that's what amazes me. People get very offended by content on television, which I've never really understood, you know. How can you ever get offended by what's on television? You've got a remote. You just switch over. <laughs> hey, your remote, oh, I don't like this. Oh, switch over. <laughs> or you carry on watching, I don't like this. I still don't like it. <laughs> oh, dear, this is awful. <laughs> yeah. Being offended by what's on television is a bit like someone who's got a nut allergy going into a nut shop, isn't it? <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> they make my head blow up three times its normal size. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I mean, really, the only time you should be offended by what's on television is if Hugh Edwards, during the news, personally calls you a wanker. <laughs> I mean, I think it's particularly bad since the Jonathan Ross, Russell Brand phone calls. Since they made those phone calls, everything's got quite bad, hasn't it? And I always thought the BBC handled that very badly, all the sackings, the suspensions. They shouldn't have done that. The Director General of the BBC should have gone on the news. I believe there's a lot of complaints about these phone calls to the actor Andrew Sachs. I'd just like to say, on behalf of the BBC, fuck off. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I just think, I think the BBC missed an opportunity there, right? Because if he'd said that, then they could have made the BBC complaints line a premium rate number. <laughs> that would have got rid of the licence fee overnight. <laughs> People just phone up saying, I can't believe you... Should do it. And it's brilliant, you could make programmes to cause as much offence as possible, you know, and it'd be brilliant, you could refund the, the BBC, you know? You know, at the end of Top Gear, the Stig takes off his helmet. It's Michael Barrymore. <laughs> Open the Ready Steady Cook bag. There's a kitten and some bleach. Mm. <laughs> some kind of omelette, I guess. <laughs> An episode of Doctor Who where they use the TARDIS to bring in illegal immigrants. <laughs> Come on, there's thousands in there. <laughs> After two hours live badger watch, Bill Oddie gets fed up, chucks a firework down the hole. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs>